Hi there. Good morning or afternoon. I hope this message finds you well. I'm going to go through the email that I just sent you um, to hopefully help with all of the text and verbiage just so you kind of understand how our course will be um, looking here in the future. So first let me say that this is a very challenging time for all of us. I completely understand. Um, please reach out and email me if there is anything you think I can help with. I want to support you and I want to see you successful not only in calculus but in life. Balance is going to be key here. So below you'll find the changes that I've made in, in order to go online. Um, I will side note here you probably have read the email from our Chancellor and our President that got sent out. If not, I will summarize it for you in a very simple message here that all face-to-face -face courses are now going online. Hybrid courses are going online as well for the rest of the semester. He also asked us to give you a two-week period in which to figure out your side of things and how to make that happen. So the Monday date, March 23rd, this coming week, and the following week will be optional work weeks. We are not to have anything scheduled to be due until after April 6th. So that will give some people time to figure out the technology piece or how to work from home, um, maybe get themselves settled in this very, very unsettling time. Um, and so that's why you'll notice on our calendar that I will show you here in a few minutes that everything is due after April 6th. Um, because of that two-week optional work period, we were asked if we needed to extend that semester two weeks, then we were asked to do so. Some of your courses may not need to extend those additional two weeks. Others will. Please understand I did try to condense, but really we just don't have that option, so we will be extending the semester two weeks. Um, if you finish your objectives early, then certainly you are done, and that may not apply to you, so we'll see how we go. Okay, um, please let me know if you have questions, but I'll outline starting with number one here. Our course is now entirely online. So let's go through the various things here. Um, so our notes. The notes that are normally completed in class will now be converted to videos. I've already started doing this. Um, I will give you access to the notes packets as well as the videos where the topics are covered. This is where your learning will occur. The videos on the notes are now homework assignments. You must watch the videos and click that you watched them to submit that assignment in order to get access to your regular homework assignments. So here's what I mean by that. On the left hand side of my screen, I am showing um, your home page here. And you'll notice that my section 10.1 is kind of grayed out and if I hover over it it tells me I must achieve a hundred percent or higher on video lesson 10.1 if I open video lesson 10.1 it's going to show me the videos that are in here and I just click I hopefully would watch the entire video which is me going through our notes for the course click I watch the entire video submit answer or you can submit assignment either way you'll get your green check notice now I have my 100 percent so now if I go back home it now shows me video lesson and here's section 10.1's homework that now has been opened up for me to complete even if you had already started 10.1 and then I put the video lesson in there um, you'll now have to go back and watch that video lesson on 10.1. Same thing is true for 10.2. That's just why these new marks are here. It tells you what you need to do in order to access which assignment. So there will be a video lesson for every assignment um, as we go through the course. Hopefully that will help with the learning aspect. Okay, back to the right hand side over here. Homework. Your practice will still be in the form of homework, still in WebAssign. The only changes you will notice here are the due dates. I have modified the schedule. Since we have that two week optional break I discussed, the semester has been extended two weeks. Our course end date will now officially be May 22nd. You of course may finish before that specifically if you have all your objectives met before the final exam. 
It is important to note that while some of this may seem a little bit self-paced, I have put the things that are um, like your major exams. You'll have a three-day window for those. Those are not necessarily self-paced, although you can do those within that three-day window. So quizzes. Um, we will still have quizzes. They will be in WebAssign. You will have quizzes due most Fridays, but you can work on them um, before that as well. Again, you'll have a three-day window for the quizzes, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, so you can complete them on your schedule within that window. You will have two attempts at most of the problems. If it's a true-false question, you might not have two attempts, or if it's a multiple-choice question, you might not have two attempts, that kind of a thing. Otherwise, most questions will have two attempts. The second attempt, you would earn 80% of the full credit. Not all questions will have two attempts, like I said, but most of them will. Um, and you'll see those quizzes appear once that quizzing window will open. So let me show you the calendar so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so looking at the calendar that I have published for you, um, we can see that the first section's homework, 10.1 to 10.2, are due the week of April 6th on that Wednesday. So then the quiz over those sections would be due that Friday. Again, this is just the due date. This is not the day that I recommend you work on it. It's just the day that it will be due. So really this optional work week, you can get as ahead as you want with the assignments. Most of those are due on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, but then, you know, the quizzes will be a three-day window. So you'll want to make sure you don't get too far ahead or you at least go back and review those sections before you open up that quiz. So this quiz would be available Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday being due on that Friday. Okay, now in terms of exams. Your exams will also be in WebAssign, um, which will allow us to continue this mastery-based model or objective-based testing. Remember those objectives 1 through 16 that I gave out early on. The next exam, which should cover objectives 1 through 12, will be Saturday, April 18th, Sunday, April 19th, and or Monday, April 20th. We will be assessing each objective individually. What that means is that if you still need objective number one, for example, then on any one of those three days, you can open up objective one and attempt that question. Each objective is going to be separate. So they are timed separately, they are opened separately, and they will all look like separate um, assignments. They're all approximately 30 minutes. For example, if you needed objectives 1, 4, and 7 in addition to the new ones, 9 through 12, then you could do number 1 and number 4 on that Saturday, you could do number seven on the Sunday, along with maybe a new one, number nine. And then you could do the rest of them on Monday. You could do 10, 11, and 12 on Monday. You can split it up however you want over those three days. Each objective will be on its own assignment as it appears in WebAssign. It will look like exam three, objective number one, for example. If you do not need objective one, then do not complete that one. Only do the objectives you still need. Um, one thing I do have to still figure out is how I can show you which objectives in a very efficient way that you've already mastered. More to come on that. Um, exams 4B and 4A are shown on the calendar and will be set up the same way. The reason 4B is now going to come before 4A is that um, 4B is obviously going to cover the new ones, the 9 through 16, so the new 13 through 16. But for those of you that have been getting three or four objectives each time, or those of you that make up a bunch of objectives on exam three, after that exam 4B, you might have already completed the class which leads you to a closer completion date like we had originally planned. So it's that week of May 11th, so you'd only be a few days behind the original schedule. So that's the only reason 4B is coming before 4A. Um, and then our final exam. 
So our final exam here is going to also be in WebAssign and that is going to still be the exact same as what your exams look like. We will have a three-day window for the final exam. All of the objectives will be provided and you will only complete the ones necessary that you have not previously mastered. And again, I will make sure there is clear communication as to which objectives you have mastered and which ones you have not. So I showed you that calendar that has been created for you. I will make sure that that gets emailed to you and put in your web assign. Um, homework assignments for the most part are due on Wednesdays and Sundays like I showed you. Um, you should be able to work on them at your convenience throughout the week. They are not meant to be completed in one sitting nor on one day like we talked about. And then my reminder to access all the homework, you must complete those video lessons first, like I just showed you. Um, quizzes are due most Fridays. Again, three-day window, so Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, and then the three-day window for the exams as well. And please use the calendar. That will be your guide showing what is due when. It doesn't tell you when you have to work on it. It just tells you what is due when. And again, I would just like to, um, well, I guess before I close, I'll remind you in your web assignment, and I have changed your due dates accordingly. I don't have quite all the videos created yet. That takes some time, but they will get put in as I create them. Um, but under your resources tab here is where um, some additional resources live. So now those might be more important than ever. In addition to the videos that I provide for you, these units here towards the top are additional videos. You can also visit some websites and, and um, I'll send out some of those as we get going here on some other helpful websites that students have told me about. The objectives, if you don't have your list, they're still in here. Um, exam 2 review is here in addition to um, all of the new notes. So here's, for example, chapter 10 notes. It's just called updated because I'm changing them as we go here. Um, and the notes keys will be available as well. I'm just trying to finish those up right now. So as I'm working through stuff, you will see them come at the bottom of that list. Um, and then I will close with Again, I recognize this is a very challenging time for all of us. I am trying to provide the best education and learning environment for you as possible while also balancing this difficult situation we are all in. Please let me know if something is not working for you or if you have concerns or questions. I am available and I am here to help. Thank you.